Hello everyone, this is Professor Nelson from Electronics. This time, we're going to talk about charging modules, based on the TP4056. These charging modules for lithium batteries can come in different models, as is the case with these two models. However, there isn't much difference between the two. The only difference is the battery's protection to prevent it from exceeding a current limit. Therefore, we can work with either module. However, this module has much larger components than this module here. This allows us to manipulate the components more easily and comfortably. Therefore, we're going to work with this module to make some changes based on the objective we have set for this video. For that reason, we'll work with this module. However, any changes to this module can also be made in this other module. Now, what changes are we going to make? Well, they're the following. First, the charging module. This one here, or this one here. They are designed to charge lithium batteries. Like these ones here, which are the 18 to 650 with high current capacities. For example, this one is 1,200 mAh. The module can charge it with a maximum of 1 amp. That is, it can deliver 1 amp of current and charge this battery in approximately 1 hour. However, these aren't the only types of batteries. There are also much more compact batteries like this one here, which have very little capacity. For example, this one has 60 milliamp hours. And compared to this one with 1,200 milliamp hours, there's a big difference. Therefore, we can't use the module to charge this battery unless we want it to degrade quickly, which would cause the battery to swell and could even explode. Because if we charge it with the same amount of current it delivers to this battery, our smaller battery will degrade much faster. So, in order to extend the battery's lifespan, some modifications need to be made to the module, so the charging current is lower than what it delivers to this one here. Okay, now the component we're going to modify is the so-called programming resistor, located on pin 2 of the module. And what value does this resistor have to be? Well. That depends on this table. It indicates that the module generally comes with a 1.2 kilo resistor, which allows us to deliver up to 900 milliamps to the battery. However, since our battery has a low capacity, we have to choose a lower current. It could be 50, 70, or 130 milliamps to avoid putting stress on our battery. To do this, we have to place resistors of 10, 20, or 30 kilohms. That is, a resistor of that value on pin 2. This would be the resistor connected to pin 2 of the module. It's 1.2 kilohms. We have to modify that resistor. So let's move on to modifying that component. Guys, before I forget, keep the following in mind. We're going to place a variable resistor on pin 2. But at the same time, we're going to connect a fixed resistor to the negative. This resistor will be a 1.2 kilom protection resistor, the same one on pin 2. But here, we're going to put a variable resistor. This is to always have a resistor on pin 2 to avoid any problems when we have to charge a battery. In this way, we can prevent our module from being damaged. So, with that said, let's move on to the modification. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove the 1.2 kilo resistor.
Now, let's add a potentiometer or variable resistor. In my case, I'll use this SMD potentiometer, which is quite small. It has three pins, of which we're only going to use two. One at the ends and the middle pin. Just in case, this potentiometer is 10 kilohms. Okay, before placing the potentiometer, you have to place an insulator on the bottom so that the pins don't make contact with this pin here. Place an insulator, like this one here, which can withstand heat or high temperatures. Now we can solder it. We place it in position and solder it carefully. Okay, now we're going to place the fixed resistor between the first pin and this connection point. Since this contact is negative, we're going to solder the resistor right there. Very good. Now we move on to testing our modified module. But first, let's check that we don't have any problems soldering the components. We're going to measure between negative and the end of the potentiometer. And we should have more than 10 kilohms. And that's great, since we have a 10 kilohm potentiometer and a 1.2 kilohm resistor. Now, between negative and pin 2 of the integrated circuit. We have 6.5 kilohms. We move the potentiometer. We lower it to 0 ohms. And we should have 1.2 kilohms. There we have 1.2 kilohms, which is the value of the fixed resistor. Now we move the potentiometer to its maximum value. And we should have more than 10 kilohms on pin 2. There we have more than 10 kilohms on pin 2. Meaning, there won't be any problems when we recharge a battery. Well, let's move on to that practical test. Okay, let's see the results in practice. We're going to charge this 1200 milliamp battery with our modified module. And in this way, verify that the potentiometer can vary the charging current. To do this, we're going to connect the battery's positive terminal to the module's positive terminal. And we're going to make a bridge from the negative to the negative of the battery using our multimeter in direct current at the maximum capacity of your multimeter. Now we connect the module to a cell phone charger and bridge it with our multimeter. Right now, the potentiometer has zero ohms. Therefore, we'll need to have the maximum charging current capacity. We have 500 milliamps. Now we'll vary the potentiometer value to vary the charging current. That would be the minimum we can set. And that way we can vary the charging current. The minimum would be 90 milliamps. 
or we can go back to the maximum current. That way, you can vary the charging current based on your battery's capacity. And that way, make your battery last longer. Okay guys, this way you can also vary the current of this type of module. Where R3 would be the resistor that controls the current, which you would have to modify based on your battery's current. Well. That concludes the video. Now don't forget that if you like the video, a like helps the channel a lot. See you in the next video. Bye bye.